Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Reflorestation, which is a card game all about trying to run the best florist. The biggest florist in town has shut down, a vacuum has opened up and florists have flooded to try and fill it. Uh, this is on Kickstarter right now, you can click uh, the link in the description or there'll be a link in one of the corners uh, taking you to the campaign page if you want to have a look at it. And uh, as always, you know, it's prototype components, hopefully the glare won't be too much with the sleeves and things. Uh, so the art, this is, this is representative of what the art will be. So when you see things like this, it's more prototype. And, you know, you, you get the idea of what it's going to be like. It'll be on the campaign page. If uh, you turn on Klingon subtitles, then you'll be informed if I made any mistakes or anything. They'll put you right. But I think that's everything. We can get going. So we each start the game with three random flowers. I've got these three. And one random order. I've got a special order. And we also get four staff cards, which we then draft. I've already done that, so we'll end up with four staff cards and we'll be playing three over the course of the game because we have three weeks that we play in here, five days a week. And the first thing that happens on a Monday, before anybody does anything, you have the chance to hire staff and they can do some really cool things. The, the downside is your first staff member costs you a flower card from your hand. So, I've got Rear Cruiter. All staff hires do not cost any flowers. And then you get bonuses based on, you know, if, if, you, if I complete orders containing at least one chrysanthemum, then I get a pound bonus for that order. If I can use unplanted flowers if they were wild, unplanted white flowers as wild ones. And uh, wild are usually harder to get, as you'll see. Uh, and Winona plant, every time she plants a card, draw a flower card, and planting is really useful, so getting a free card, although it's random, is very useful. I think I'm going to have that one first. So I'm going to put her up there, and my first order needs red and yellow. White's going to be useful as wild, so I think I'll get rid of this orange gerbera. The rest we won't need until the beginning of next week. And I'm playing two player against Marty as usual. And we have, so he has uh, fixes customers complaints. Oh, at the end of the game, if you've got orders in your hand, you lose a pound for each of them. This means he doesn't. Uh, earns a one pound bonus every time he adds an extra flower to an order, once per order. That's good. During the final tally, gets an extra pound for every order that has been repeated. We'll see that later. And then acquires the top flower from the market bin every time he takes two from the display. I think he's going to do that one first. We've both gone for ones that help us get more flowers. So what's he going to give up? His starting order is three flowers of any one type. So he's got three different tulip, carnation, orchid. But if we go to the middle, there are three more orchids here. So I think he'll, he'll definitely want to hang on to the orchids. He'll get rid of the white tulip. I think we're ready to go. So, as I said, there's five days a week for three weeks. Every day has a morning and an afternoon. And you'll do one action in each of those for each day. So the actions you can take are visit the flower market. And these are the flowers in the display. You can either take two from the display, as long as they're not wild. You can take one wild from the display. Or you can draw from the top of the deck blind as well. And you can combine that so you can have one from here and one blind or just two blind. So that's how you get more flowers into your hand. Your hand, li hand limit is eight. You can grab a new order. You can get the one from the display there that everyone can see, or you can take one randomly from the top of the deck. But if you do that, you also get a flower from the top of the deck as well. You can plant flowers. You can do this once per day. You can plant flowers from your hand into your garden. And they are basically going to be repeatable. When you do an order, you can hand in cards from your hand, but you can also use planted flowers. Uh, once per day. And the last thing you can do once per day is fulfill orders. So as I said, they, they can either be from your hand and you discard them or they can be from the planted section and you just uh, rotate them to show they've been used that day. So my starting order is for any three red and any three yellow flowers, but one has to be an orchid, not a wild card. So I'll get four pounds for that at the end as well. I think there's no, there's no reds in the display, so I'm not... Um, I'm not urgently looking at getting anything from the display here. I think I'm going to plant for my first action. So I can only do that once in the day anyway. So I'm going to plant this yellow chrysanthemum. And every time I plant a card, 
draw a flower card from the deck. So from the top of the deck, and it's wild, which is really good. So that, that does help towards that. We come over to Marty, and remember he wants the flowers of one type, so I think he is going to go straight to the display and take a orange orchid and a purple orchid. These don't refill until the next day. So Marty's power means that whenever he takes two from the display, he gets the top card from the discard pile from the bin. So we've had our morning action, flip to the afternoon, and I think I'm going to get some flowers now. So there's a yellow there, which is nice. I'll probably plant that tomorrow. And let's see, the white counts as wild. It's probably worth taking the white. Oh, no, that's not, I haven't put that out yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I'll just have from the deck then. It's another wild. I've got really lucky off of that. And Marty's afternoon action. So he just wants one type. I think he's going to plant these. There is another thing to consider. At the end of the game, there will be a flower festival. And the same way you fulfill an order, you can submit flowers to this as long as they're not already used up. And we want different types of flowers. So planting all these orchids, it might not be in Marty's best interest. But he is going to plant, let's just say, the purple orchid. Just so he doesn't have to give off all of his cards when he hands in the order. So we've both had our PM actions. We move to the next day. Pass this along to the next player. Then this fills up because we did take flowers. If nobody takes any flowers from the display, it gets wiped just like the order display does because nobody took that. So the new order that came out is for three roses, two gerberas and two carnations. Probably a bit ahead of us at the moment, but Marty, what's he going to do? He probably wants more flowers or maybe another order. I think he is going to take a blind order. He doesn't particularly want that one. Three pink, two purple, two orange. That's easier. He's got a purple out already. And he also gets uh, the card from the top of the flower deck, which is orange, which is works out as well. For me, I think I am going to take this red tulip because I haven't got any reds out yet. I do need an orchid though, remember? And then I'll just take the other one blind, white gerbera. So I might need to do some searching for this. Over to PM, Marty, I think is gonna plant He's going to plant this orange orchid and I'm also going to plant. Let's do the red because we haven't got any reds out there. And it's two different types for the festival at the end if I haven't used them for orders in the last round. So when I plant it, I can take a card from the deck. It's a red gerbera. Good that it's red, but it's a shame that I, I need an orchid. I need a yellow or red orchid. So we flip back. It's AM on Wednesday the 3rd. The display fills back up, this order goes away, and we have two purple, one pink, one white. Now my hand is at six, so I can take two more. I'm just gonna take two off the deck and try and find, nope, try and find an orchid. I'm pro I should probably just take another order, really. Marty is going to plant this pink orchid, and he is all set up to be able to do this. PM, I, I should probably plant something. I'm gonna plant this one. So I get another random card, yellow lily. Sort of the yellow. So I've got the three red and three yellow with the wilds. It's just that I need an orchid. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm okay for cards. But oh yeah, I was supposed to get an order, wasn't I? Marty is going to fulfill orders and you can do as many orders as you can in one go basically, but he's only gonna do one. So he's gonna do this one, three flowers of any one type. He's gonna use orchids. So just use all of his planted ones so he doesn't have to discard anything. And this goes into his completed order pile. Normally it would go face down, but repeat orders are a bit special. And this is an optional rule, you don't have to play with this, but I like it. You put repeat orders face up and you can do them one more time in the future and then you put them face down. So when you count them at the end, face down ones are worth double. And I think Marty's got a card to help with repeat orders as well. Uh, yes, at the, at the end of the game, he gets a pound extra for every order that has been repeated. So it's a new day. Marty starts us on the fourth. Nobody took a card from the display, so it gets wiped completely. And we get four new ones. Red Orchid, don't know I need that. That's a shame I'm not first player. Marty doesn't know I need that though. And in the order pad, three red, two orange, two white. So Marty is after pinks, which just got discarded, actually. Another purple and another, and he's got another orange. 
So he probably wants two flowers from the display, but he doesn't need any of these. Maybe he'll take an another order and see if there's something he can do. Three lilies and three gerbera. That's not great either. There's, a, there's one there, a white one. He takes a flower from the top of the deck. It's a purple orchid. Now, I'm probably gonna have, I'm gonna have to discard something here, but I want this orchid. I'm gonna take flowers. Let's take a random one, pink rose. And I think I'm just gonna give up on these pinks. Yeah. Well, let's put the pink orchid back and the gerber because I've got those types out. Just thinking of the flower festival at the end. So I have to stick to my hand limit, but I want that red orchid. Afternoon. I think Marty is going to plant again. It's just another purple orchid though, which is a shame. It's not something different. He could plant this orange rose. And for me, I am going to plant this red orchid. Which means I get the card from the top of the deck, which is a purple chrysanthemum. And we are done for the day. Go to the fifth. Now I am, oh, so we need to fill that back up, get rid of this order and put a new one out. Two roses and a lily. It's me first, I am going to take this order. Marty, let's see, he needs pinks, doesn't he? A lot of pinks. Three lilies, three gerbera. I think he is going to go random again and have a look at an order. Three flowers of any one color. So he just needs another orange and there's an orange in the display. He gets the top card from the deck, which is red chrysanthemum. And then afternoon. Should I try and deliver these or should I keep planting? Now I need a lily and I've got a yellow lily. So if I plant this, that's going to be good for both of the orders, I think. So I get to draw from the top and it's a yellow carnation, which still helps actually. And I think Marty is going, oh no, if he had another orange, he would definitely do orders again because he can... Now that should be face up, shouldn't it? He can do that again, because he's still got all of that stuff, remember? And he could give up the other purple orchid. So he's going to get cards. So he needs to use his power anyway. He's going to get that orange tulip, and then he needs Gerbera, doesn't he? He'll get that. So he also gets the top one from the discard. And that's it. So we will be flipping to Monday. Let's just set up the cards. And two white, one orange, one pink repeat order has come out. So we can hire staff now. You need to give up two cards to hire staff though. So I think these are good for final tally. Marty's gonna take this one. He has to get rid of two cards. So I think he doesn't care about red. He's gonna get rid of these two red for now. Cause it's two for your second staff member. And now earns a one pound bonus every time he adds an extra required flower to an order. So hopefully he can do that. As for me, I am going to put this out where I get bonuses for chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemum. And I'm gonna discard the whites actually. Cause I've just realized I haven't got that card out that, get, that treats them as wild. And I don't need them, do I? Roses and lily. Maybe I should keep the rose. Yeah, I'll get rid of this purple. Okay, and it's Marty's first action. I think he's gonna fulfill an order, actually. He is going to fulfill this order again, but he's gonna add another orchid. So he's got three orchids. He's gonna add this one. So that one has to be discarded, the others were planted, and he gets an extra pound. Real Marty is being disruptive. I, for my action, I haven't done a single order yet. I think we need to change that. So three red and three yellow. So I'm gonna use though everything I've planted and another yellow. So let's do the yellow tulip, I think. So it included an orchid. So uh, that's fine, the special order is done. And it's, uh, it contained a chrysanthemum. And if we can just shift you a second, I get a one pound bonus every time I complete an order containing one. So PM now. Marty probably just wants more out. He wants, well, he wants three of one color, so he'll plant this other orange, I think. As for me, I want to plant. Let's get, let's start getting some roses out there. So I'll put this pink rose out and I get the top card of the deck, thanks to my power. Wildflower. Okay, move on to the next day and it's morning time. This should clear because nobody took anything. Then this should clear. 
So we have two red, two purple. Okay, and everything resets. So what do I want to do? I probably want more orders. Two red, two purple is up there. I could do that. I couldn't necessarily repeat it because I haven't got any purples out. We could take a random one. Let's take a chance. So two lilies, a tulip, and a gerbera. Lilies we need for something else anyway. Got a gerbera and a tulip out. We just need another lily. So I get the card from the top of the deck as well because I took a random one. And it's a tulip, which I don't need actually. Marty wants gerberas and lilies, so he's going to take two from here. And then he also gets this lily from the top of the discard pile. I am going to plant this white rose. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> oh, a, a clever thing to do. This is why all of these things have got the things on the side, probably. Yeah, let's free up some space like that. I also get the top card of the deck, purple chrysanthemum, not that useful. Marty just needs one lily. I think he'll plant so he can hang on. He does need purple for that order, so he'll plant the purple lily. He doesn't want to get rid of everything. So it's a new day. Purple Rose, Yellow Orchid, get rid of that order for two Orchids and a Gerbera. And it is morning for me. It's morning for Marty actually, he's first. So I think he is going to do an order. He's going to do this, three flowers of any one colour. It would be nice to add another one, but he's just got three oranges for now. And then he can maybe think about getting a different order. I mean, I'm going to plant this for the future, because I haven't got a Carnation out. So it would be nice to keep hold of one. And I get a card from the deck. It's a red orchid. PM. What does Marty want to do? I think he's going to get this repeat order as well. And then he can plant this in the future. For me, I am going to fulfill an order. So two lilies. There's one there and one wild card. One tulip is there and a gerber is there. I won't rotate them because this is the end of the day anyway. So we switch over again. Nobody had one from the display. So new ones come out. A lot of lilies. And a new order comes out. Purples and yellows. I think I would like the lilies. I only need one though. Let's get a white out so we've got a bit of variation. And then just draw one from the deck. Red gerbera. Marty is going to grab two from the display as well, so he's got an extra orange. I'm going to plant this other lily. So I got a card from the top of the deck, white carnation, and Marty is going to fulfill this order again. Three oranges, and he will give up this orange, so he gets an extra pound. And that is complete. Marty could also do this, because he's, he's done all of those, but he's still got two orchids, and he's got a gerbera in his hand. Maybe that would be a good thing to wait for. Or actually, he could do this one. Because one lily, two, three lilies, and one, two, three gerbera. No, I think he should just do this one. So at the same time, he did this, two orchids, and he'll give up a gerbera from his hand. So he needs another one now for that other order. But this is another repeat one that he can do more of later. So it's a new day. It's Friday. Marty gets that. We fill up the gaps. And a new order comes out. Roses, tulips, and lilies. So Marty, I think he's going to get these gerberas. Put them in his hand, and he gets the top one from the discard pile. I've got a feeling I've missed that out on another turn. Uh, I need... So I've got two lilies, a tulip, and a gerbera. I could fulfill that. Have I also got two roses and another lily? Yeah, I can fulfill orders. And if I do two lilies, tulip, gerbera, and then two roses and a lily, I can repeat that one and do this one. So Marty can do two orchids and a gerbera and then three lilies, one, two, three, and three gerbera, and one is white. So he's not adding anything. He can add an orchid actually to this one to get his extra pound, because he's got more orchids. And he could give up another gerbera to do this one and get an extra pound for it. 
So that one he's done twice now, and this one he is completed. And that's looking really nice. That's PM, isn't it? As for me, I think, if this looks good, it's a four pound order. And I don't have to do much to get it, I don't think. Yeah, let's go for this. So that's it for that day. I'll be starting. Let's put some orders and flowers out there. Okay, so staff. Uh, I need to... So there's no point putting that out now. That would have been the first one to put out. So I can use whites as if they were wild. I don't think I want to. No, I'm just not going to do it. I can keep the, the three flowers in my hand instead. Marty has to decide. So a pound for every order or a pound for every... Oh, don't lose a pound for every order in your hand or a pound for every repeat order. Oh, no. He's left himself without cards, though. Oh, no. Well, that was stupid. I think he's doing quite well anyway, though. So nobody's hiring in the third week. That's uh, that's a bit of a a bit of a mess. Okay then. Well, I chose not to. I was making a stand. And to be fair, Marty was making money. So I need roses, tulips, and lilies. I think I'm going to take this order because this can be done very easily as well by me. Two red and a white. I can just repeat that over a couple of days. And Marty's got all of his stuff back. So pinks, purples, and oranges. Pinks, he, I think he just keeps uh, skipping past. He's going to go for a random order. So four white, two yellow. That's not good either. But he does get a card, a red, which isn't helpful. Uh, in the PM. So in, in the afternoon, I'm going to fulfill orders, actually. So two roses and a lily for the repeated order. And then two red... And a white, I can just use the carnation. Actually, if I'd saved the white lily and used the yellow lily instead, I don't have to give up any cards. So I can do that one as well now. And Marty's afternoon. I think he will take... He does need yellow, so he's going to take these from the display so he gets this other yellow for free, thanks to his power. New day. Marty goes first. We have pink. He needs pink. It would be a second pink, and then he could get a wild and just get rid of that order. Then three yellow, three orange, three pink. So he needs white and pink, really. So he's going to take these two, and then he can have a white from the top of the discard pile. He's got a lot of cards now. He could probably do some orders, you would think. And then <laughs> my mess of flowers comes back. I've planted a lot. Then three roses, two tulips. I need roses, so I am going to... Take this one from here and take the one from the top of the deck. It's a red carnation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm okay. Then in the afternoon, Marty is going to plant this pink carnation because he's at his hand limit and he does want to try and do some orders. For me, have I got enough? I've got two, three roses, one tulip, two tulips. One, two lilies, and then to do this, two red and a white from my hand. Yep, I can do that. So that is all done. So new day. Some new cards. Oh, if someone had gone from the top of the deck, it would have been a wild. That order goes away, and we have four orchids, four roses. I don't think anyone's particularly good at that, and they need to have two yellows, orchids and roses. I'm okay for roses, not so much orchids though. So I need some orders. I think I'm just going to take one blind then. Uh, a rose and three chrysanthemums, that's not great for me. But I do get a flower, a pink lily. I've got one chrysanthemum. I might have to go for the wilds. Marty doesn't need these reds. He's going to take this pink and this purple. Which also gets him this white. He needs to discard down. He doesn't need the purple and he doesn't need these reds. For the orders he's got right now anyway. Now I think he can do something in the afternoon. So for me, I want another order. It's a lily, two chrysanthemums, two tulips. So that's not good. Chrysanthemums, I don't know if it's... Yeah, I need wilds. I should have got wilds. From now on, wilds. Remember that. PM. Marty can do this, can't he? One, two, three, four whites, 
two yellows. He's just going to do that order and clear out his hand. Uh, he can't add anything to that because he just hasn't got the cards. Okay then, so it's a new day. On to the Thursday, we've only got four actions each, haven't we? So new order comes out, two yellow and an orange. That would have been nice. So Marty, does he want to take another order? Yeah, let's be brave. So three orange, two red. He got rid of the reds. Oh no, that might have been stupid. For me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take a wild. Marty is just going to do this, I think. Three pink, two purple, two orange. Oh, he, he might as well wait and see if he can make this happen because he can do them both at the same time then. Oh, he can't because it's the orange. The oranges would combine. I think he'll do it because maybe, maybe I'll take something from here and reveal. So three pink, he needs to give up the one from his hand. Two purple, two orange. So that's done. My morning is going to be to plant this because I need chrysanthemums for both of those orders and I've only got one. In the afternoon, Marty needs two reds. Does he take the wild? Or go for the draw? He'll take the wild. Hopefully another wild will come out, which is annoying because I needed a wild, but that's the way it goes. Uh, my PM, let's, let's do one of these then. So a lily is fine. Two chrysanthemums, I'm gonna have to give something up. And one, oh, I haven't got two tulips. Yeah, either way I've got to give up two wilds. So two wilds and that one is done. Yeah, that might not have been worth it. Or I could, have I got room in my hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can only deliver once per day, so I think it's worth doing. I have put some wilds on top of there for Marty to get though. Okay then, it's the last day. So you get two new, wild, I've got to go for that. And then a new order, three pink, two yellow. So to do this, I need two chrysanthemums. Oh, my last order contained a chrysanthemum, so I should have had an extra pound. Hmm, I think, should we just draw wild? Hopefully, it could be two chrysanthemums, it's very unlikely. Well, let's just draw. Nope, carnations and lilies. Marty, three orange and two red. Well, I've just kind of left it for him, haven't I? He doesn't even need to do that. He could take two others if he wanted. Try and make sure that he's got different types and then he gets the wild from there. And my action, <laughs> oh, I've got a chrysanthemum there. So I didn't need to give up one of those wilds. Can I do it now? Which means, ooh, it's kind of cheating. Uh, it's, it's, it's correcting a mistake. I would have taken the wild instead of the, um, instead of the two blind, knowing that I've got a chrysanthemum there. Oh. <laughs> That's stupid. Well, I can do something now. Uh, an extra chrysanthemum and a rose just from there. Yeah, I can do that. I could probably have done that twice over the course of the game. I don't know. Anyway, and I got a pound for containing a chrysanthemum. So Marty, can he do this now? Three orange, two red. Yep, he can do it. And that is it. So at the end of the game, you lose a pound for every order you've still got left, but we don't have any. We've actually done them. So what is my score? Four. And remember, these are face down, so I must have done them twice. Although this one wasn't done twice. That should be face up. Four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And then Marty's. He's got two. 4, 6, 10, 14, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So Marty wins it by two pounds. He didn't even need the staff card he'd been kind of working his game towards. I almost forgot, in fact, I did forget, and I've just remembered, that we have the Flower Festival. So it's not all over. So it's 24 to 26 at the moment, the Flower Festival. I have left over... So we want types of flowers, lily, carnation, three, four, five. I've definitely got five types, so I get three pounds. So I'm hoping Marty only gets a pound from this, but we'll see. He has got orchid, lily, carnation, tulip, which is four. So it's not as much as me, but there we go. It's 27 to 28, so a little bit closer now. 
but this can have a big difference because it's another thing where you will probably get these types towards the end of the game. You'll probably get all those different types out, but will you have them left over? Is it worth hanging on to them to use in the flower festival or giving them up for a big order to get the points in the middle of the game. But there we go. <laughs> now it's the end, honest. And that is reflorestation. If you'd like to know what I think, then there should be a link coming up on the screen somewhere now. Uh, the Kickstarter link is in the description. And uh, go and check out the page if you'd like to. But thanks very much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you for the next game. Bye.